Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today I wanted to talk about a little subject that has been on my mind for a while, and it has to do with sort of catch-up gear and adding a system to allow players to get previous raid tiers of loot with a currency type ordeal, whether this is a Tarnished Undermine Rail or a completely new currency. It's very similar to a system that we saw in Wrath of the Lich King Classic. But before we begin the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this system, obviously, there are numerous times it's shown up in retail, but they did a pretty interesting thing, and at the end of Old War in Wrath of the Lich King, they added the heroic dungeon system if you will or like mythic dungeon it added a little affix very similar to what we see in sod and bwl here where you can just turn it on it adds a debuff and so i was thinking what if we sort of took that system added it to dungeons here in sod and they drop a currency that allows you to buy mc and bwl loot now i include mc and bwl i would have loved to see the system introduced now for mc loot however i don't think that's going to be the case um so in phase six with aq i would love to see a system added like that that one it allows people to go and do five man content five man content is awesome in classic wow there are so many grand dungeons that you need to do and things you can get from them However, right now, with those dungeons being where they are and the things you can get from them, they just aren't too worth doing for someone who's been playing all of Phase 4 and Phase 5. Like, I only log in to do dungeons when my guildies ask me to because I am gearing out their alts. I am going into the dungeon. There's something they need. There's absolutely zero upgrades I can get. And sure, I could buy the bags with the Undermine Reels right now, but once you, I have over 10,000 gold on my account for my characters alone, and then I have like over 10k in our guild bank that I just manage and spend for my raiders on whatever the heck they need. So it's just really, uh, there's not much incentive for me to just be a completely geared character on both my characters and go out there and do five man content. So the incentive would be to get this currency and go after big ticket items, items you need, items you are missing. Because when we look at MC and BWL, yes, they there is like that sign of horizontal progression, right? But when 10 of your 20-man team needs a DFT and you have only seen one the entire time, like my guild has seen one DFT and we have done Blackling Lair on every reset on two raids and we have seen one DFT thus far. So it's just really it sucks because that means in, when you're doing AQ, you're going to have to go back and make people come there and you're going to have to do just DFT runs and then you're, because of the affixes and the extra loot and the shot from Neff, you're just going to full clear BWL, which is old content and the only item that you can use in there is a DFT by the end of it and when you're going into phase 6. MC is very similar with that same setup. So like because it's heat 3, I have to force my guild to do a heat 3 because we still need some items like Bands of Acuria, uh, Choker of the Fire Lord, as well as MC is a bit different because it does have the Sulfuron Hammer and Thunder Fury, which are two very amazing items. So those two are something to like, you know, actually go for their legendary. That could be excluded from the vendor or you could put it on the vendor for like 500 coins or whatnot. It'd be really cool. And now there's two ways you can do this currency. So you can take the Defiler Scourge Zone type system and you can add it to Dungeons and Heroics or... On the flip side, you could add sort of bad RNG mitigation, and you could put it on uh, BWL bosses and MC bosses and, you know, Oni, Thunderin, Azurgos, Kazakh, all of those world bosses. You could add these currencies to them that would let you buy the gear with it sort of as a bad RNG mitigation and so on, because when you have to get people to do previous content it just sort of feels bad because those are hours people are committing to and they might be sick of doing the same raid over and over again and like the last thing you want to do when aq comes out and you're looking forward to doing the next raid it's like oh well we got to go do the same raid we've been on farm for you know the past 8 10 20 or 12 weeks so it can just be really tiresome and grueling and i think in a seasonal server 
which is what Season of Discovery is, having that sort of accelerated catch-up mechanic to getting gear is a really good solution to sort of these problems and issues that guilds and players might be facing. And then a whole nother side to this coin is for returning players and new players. So people that are coming back to the game, people that had quit in phase three or whenever they quit, people that are just generally new to the game. The amount of questions I've gotten recently, just because people, I guess, recognize my name, they'll ask me, hey man, why can't I trade? Or I'll see newbies asking for their stuff and be like, wow, I can't trade. I have seen a huge uptick in newer players coming to SOD, and I think it's really surprising because I've been asked the question, why can't I trade? And it's the anti-bot cheat stuff that stops them from trading for 30 days if they're a new account, but it's just really refreshing to sort of see new players uh come here and sort of experience those problems instead of you know just it being there to stop bots so it's it's a weird system and i wish there was a better solution to it maybe they could uh link it to your authenticator which is linked to a phone number which most bots probably don't do so that could be another solution to it as well to sort of bypass that 30-day trial but i've had like five or six people dm me asking me about it or yelling in org or saying out loud just why that won't work but when newer players come back the biggest thing that i think gates keeps them from getting into raid is the gear right is not being on the same par as all these other players so you have to find a guild or a group that's willing to invest in you as a player and that can be very hard to convince people when there are hundreds of geared players that they can just take instead of you so you really got to find a really awesome guild that picks you as a person and not uh your gear score which could be very difficult in this day and age especially with a mega server so that is another reason why we could see a cash up currency mechanic be added to sod because once again it is seasonal and so we don't have the permanence of classic we don't have the permanence of a realm sod comes to an end at some point at least it's supposed to um they might send us a tvc they might do some crazy stuff with it sod's a very unique sort of experimental trial for a lot of stuff so I don't know exactly what their plans are for it, but I think on a seasonal round, having that gear catch up so people can get into the game, they can get to raiding, they can do the most recent content, and they can give other people something to do with the game. Like, I still need a choker of the Fire Lord on my mage. If DFT was on any vendor, I would literally spend all day, 12 hours a day, grinding out on my druid to get that DFT because it's insane to give it to a tank. Uh, first or in any regard as long as they're hit caps like they can be hit caps from that you really only take a dft or a band of a curia as a tank because you really need that two percent hit but once you have one of them the others you can get elsewhere but anyway guys i truly hope you enjoyed this video uh, i would love to hear what you think about them adding a currency system to the game for mc and bwl gear once aq is out but anyway i hope you enjoyed the video and until next time i'll see you later have a great day Bye bye hey you Yes, you. Are you still there? Well, I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this entire video and making it to the end here. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out the other videos about World of Warcraft listed in these playlists down below. And thank you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.